Frosty is fully involved in that project in the team, and that's probably what he wanted at TeakVid was to have a bit more involvement in that sort of stuff, and they weren't really interested in giving him that. They're like, no, nah, you're a driver. We're not going to give you all that. Charlie Schwerkholt has been very, very happy to have Frosty part of the team, and Frosty has ended up delivering him the first race win, um, which is great. Scott Pye did a great job in Gen 2, managing to drag that car into results that, you know, 2020 they had a really good car, 2021 not so good, 2022 a little bit less good, but they kept making it happen, and Frosty just showed time and time again that he kept doing it, he could, he could still do it. There's not a lot of drivers in the field that are like that, has been fully committed to Team 18, and I don't think he's fully interested in retirement. He does. He hasn't talked about what he's going to do after supercars. He's got what four kids? I swear he's got like four kids. He's got Oliver and Austin, and then he's got, I swear he's got like two more kids. And he's happy. Frosty's one of those guys that looks younger than he is. He's what 40, 41 this year. So we've had, what, how old are the race winners? We've got Jack LeBrock, who's, what, 30. you got, you know, the Brody Kostecki and Will Brown are obviously quite young. And you got got uh, Shane Maggie is what, 32, 33. Brock Feeney's very young. Then you got Frosty, you got Anton, who's, what, he's a bit older than me. So he's, what, 27, 28, about my age. And then, bang, someone in his 40s gets a win. He didn't even qualify on pole. He nailed the start, took the lead, and held on for dear life. And Team 18 got their pit stop right for once. That was good. Because it's almost always that they would screw it up in the pit stop, drop a couple spots and have to claw it all back. Frosty has seemed to be been like, it's a new generation, the cars are going to be very different. I don't know what to expect. And he jumps in and he goes, alright, this, this is what it is, let's, let's work with it. And I didn't expect that. I think in my predictions I thought, look, you've got two great drivers, but I'm not sure that they're going to be able to handle the new ch the, the new feel of the cars. He stuck it up the front. It's not always there because you got that many Chevy teams. you got Premier, you got Team 18, you got Matt Stone Racing who are doing a great job. You've got Brad Jones Racing who are doing a great job with the two cars that are the main ones. Erebus, AAA, I mean that's what, six teams right, so that's probably most of the field, and then the rest are all Fords. Frosty has been doing a pretty good job, like what teams are better than than Frosty at the moment, what Brad Jones, you got two young guys, you got Andre Heimgartner who's doing just an exceptional job for Brad Jones racing, like Bryce Forward's doing a great job as well, he's only getting better. But is Bryce up there? I think Bryce is a little bit behind Frosty. Mark Winterbottom is 10th in the championship at the moment. The only Chevy drivers better than him are, in terms of points, Jack LeBrock and Andre Heimgartner, and then Erebus and AAA. Whereas you compare it to last season, Gen 2, what did he come? Was he 9th in the championship? 2022? I think he was. He was, what, 10th in 21, 10th in 20. Yeah, I think it was 9th and 22. And Jack LeBrock's younger, hungrier, just been doing a better job. But on Frosty's day, Frosty can beat him. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time because he just gets out qualified by Jack LeBrock, uh, which is good for Jack, but not so good for, for Frosty. Um, but Frosty has never been. He's never been. A qualifying king, I don't think. It's been pretty rare to have Frosty be the get the most pole positions in, in one year. He's he's been able to get pole positions. What was his last pole? Twenty nineteen at Team Eighteen. Like he can do a lap. And what, what was the time before that? Twenty twenty sixteen. But Frosty's one of those drivers where he's just sort of there, pretty regularly. And especially this year, the last few years it's sort of been, it, they've had the same sort of performance as they have the last few years, which has been 
they start off well and they sort of on they're there or thereabouts but half the time they're not there and you go when are they actually going to step up and they are capable of getting top tens and it's just competition the nature of competition is that they're getting beaten um, by teams that maybe shouldn't be beating them matchstone racing and premier probably shouldn't be beating team 18 but you don't know what the situation is mark winterbottom isn't going anywhere he's going to stay at team 18 and until he gets to a point where the results aren't there in terms of um, like it, it like it, when it starts to feel like a grind when it starts to feel like you're just going through the motions rocking out race weekends and going not this again who's it's not like team 18 they got a junior driver premier are doing a lot of that and i think that's, that's where i see it team 18 is one of those little mid-pack teams all pinching people from one another and grabbing things from one another that's sort of what it's like uh, on mark winterbottom when you think about the elder statesman of the field talking about like shane van Giersberg and you're talking about james courtney uh, and Will Davison, as well as Mark Winterbottom. They they go really well for a long time, and you see, like, James Corney starting to peter off, but maybe he's just having a bad run, because sometimes that happens. He could, had two shitty weekends in a row, but the performance is still there. There's going to be a stage where they go... Like Jamie Winkup did, he went... I might not be as good as I used to be. We should probably get someone else. I'm going to do something else next year so it will be interesting to see what happens in, in in the future but I don't think Frosty's going anywhere next year I think he's definitely staying for team 18 for 2024 uh, and uh, I think he'll be on the grid in 2025 as well unless we have a shocking run of events but I don't think that's going to happen unless he decides to do a Jamie Wink up and go at the start of the year this is going to be my last year I'm going to be a co-driver next year or something like that.